Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another celebrity reading. This time it's on Grimes and Elon Musk and their relationship and what is going on. So apparently, allegedly, uh, Grimes is not with him, but kind of sort of living with him or something. I don't know, because she's apparently in Austin, <laughs> which is where I'm at. Hey, um, hopefully I bump into her icon. Uh, we stand. Uh, but she's dating a girl, I believe, allegedly. I don't know. So we're going to kind of see elon and grimes relationship what happened how it was where it's going things like that so remember these rings are all legend for entertainment first only and let's get started so grimes will be on the left and then elani muskina will be on the right and then between them oof okay um well the ten of wands is a burden not worth having so ten of wands reversed mm, I mean, she definitely feels like he's a big burden, and I definitely see her feeling like I, I released a burden. So I do think she's kind of happy being away from him for a little bit, or at least separated where she's at right now. Um, the Three of Wands is reversed, which is him. He feels like kind of forced out, which makes me feel like he doesn't really handle not being in control well because three of i mean shocker he's a billionaire but the three of wands is reversed so that's like i think he's a little bit blindsided by her moving on or having a life outside of him the magician is upright which is communication that means that they are communicating and i do believe it's in a better place that's usually a healthy communication at least for right now we'll see how long it lasts um but the three of wands i mean i genuinely think that he's kind of I think that he's kind of shocked that she's able to just pick up and move on. I don't think he expected that at all. Okay, the Five of Swords is reversed. The Tower is reversed. Seven of Pentacles is reversed. Um, I mean, he's not willing to fix anything. He's not willing to change. He's not willing to get out of his comfort zone. I think he's a very ritualistic person. I think he's a very, like rigid person routine person in terms of like what he wants to do it might not be like every time every day is the same i'm not sure it could just be like i'm doing this and it has to be this way he's very particular um it, this would drive anyone insane um like extremely particular in what he does doesn't budge needs to do this it reminds me of like when someone has to do something or they have or they're like overstimulated or like freak out like he needs to like bounce between certain things um the problem is is that it causes problems with everyone around him the towers reverse which means that everything around him has been crumbling when it comes to his relationships and his personal life because of that um i think that he puts himself before everything and his needs to feel comfortable and safe before everyone else um to an extreme level to where it inconveniences everyone around him and he doesn't care um so I seem very self-focused there where it's like, I'm going to inconvenience everyone else so that I'm happy and comfortable. It's like when someone has OCD and they have to do a ritual, but it causes everyone else issues. That's what it's like. It's like, he's like ritualistic in nature. And so like, he has to do these things and it's going to drive you crazy. Um, and he, he knows that it's going to bother you and he doesn't care. And it's kind of crazy to me because it's like, I get having those, but you have all the money in the world to solve some of those problems. Why won't you use that? Um, I think that's kind of where their frustrations lied. Yeah, he expects other people to just do everything that he won't do himself. So that's the temperance card. It's in fair and imbalanced. The high priestess is reversed as well with the ten of swords. He has a habit of um, he has a habit of self sabotage, um, and he definitely see a lot of trust issues with him. Um, but uh, let me see. Did he have his hand in her career? The star is upright, which is celebrity. Okay. And it's, that's a good thing, right? It means attention, liking attention, and stuff like that. But the two of cops is verse and the three of swords is a verse. The two of cops is a disagreement between two people or two people not connecting, right? And the three of swords is predicting the worst before it began and predicting heartbreak before it began. It seems to me like he genuinely felt like he should have a say in the things that she does no, i don't see it as like you're mine and i get to do whatever i want to do i see it as this is him right 
if I'm Elon, it's him being like, well, we're a unit now, so I get to say. Like, it's it's not like a manipulative, malicious, you have to do what I say. It's, well, that's what happens in your relationship. He genuinely believes that. Like, when I tell you in his energy, I I don't see him as a malicious person. I, person, I see him as, like, socially awkward, maybe? Like, not getting it. Like, if you write a book... And it told you how to act. He would, he would just mimic the book. Like that's what I like. I guess that's the word mimic. Like he's like I see him like mimicking. Like oh, this is what it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. And like you can't tell him otherwise, even though he's fucking wrong. So it's like weird. Like it's like you can't talk to him because he doesn't get it. So like I don't know how someone like this can change when they don't get it. Like, I don't know how to get someone like this to get it. He has a weird hang up about lies, by the way. There's something weird about people lying. Like, the sun is upright, which is happiness, and the moon is upright. So the moon is like lies, deceit, deception. And then the empress is upright, which is like nurture, nurturing and self-love. It's also like motherhood and stuff like that. I definitely think 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 he like he, he has this like weird like you need to be a mom. Like that's weird. He has this thing where he like pushes people to be a mom, which is weird. I don't know what that means. Um, but he has this thing about lying. Like, you know, if you were like, okay, how do I put this? If you said that you were going to be, if you said you left the house at 115, but you left the house at 120, he would be able to check that you left the house at 120 because he's like controlling whatever and be like, you lied to me. And he'd be like, oh, I thought it was 115. He'd be like, no, you lied to me. Like he takes it very literal, like super literal to the point where it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That's his energy where it's like super fucking literal. Sun and moon together is like super literal. It's like, no, 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 what are you doing? That's a, that's a lie, you're lying to me. It's like, um, I mean, technically you're right, but like, do you not get like the social cue there? Like it's off. Um, I also feel like his, his, he has other children, right? I think like, I think, I think there's like, um, I think there's a baby mama or an ex or something that didn't quite like Grimes. I'm not going to lie. The Queen of Swords is reversed, the Devil's reversed, and the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is like walking away or keeping a distance. The Devil card is negativity, and the Queen of Swords is reversed. Um, so it's like pushing someone away. The Devil card is negativity. Um, yeah, I feel like... I feel like... Okay, how do I put this? This would be someone who's like, she's crazy. Like, she's crazy and weird and different, and she doesn't understand, like, us or a family. Like, why do you want someone like that? Like, there's something wrong with her. Like, that's the vibe that I get, where it's like, she's weird. I'm not going to lie. This person seems a little bit uptight. Um, they have a little bit of a stick up their ass, no shade. Um, I think they just have a very rigid idea of who he should be with and how his life should be, which is probably why he, they were together in the first place, <laughs> because it seems like he's very similar to her. Um, I mean, I don't think Grimes cares, which is kind of making me love her even more. I see Grimes as being like, LOL. <laughs> I don't think Grimes gives a shit. And I think that's what drives him crazy. And I think that's what drives um, her, the ex crazy too. I don't think Grimes cares that much. I see her as someone in her own bubble, in her own space and like kind of minding her business. I see her just in her, in her room vibing. Like that's just the vibe that I get from her. I don't think she cares. I will say I do think Grimes is oblivious, which is probably why Elon liked her because she's very oblivious. So for him, he can kind of do whatever he wants um, because she's just like spacey and just like, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, the page of pentacles is upright, the three of pentacles is upright and the 10 of pentacles. 
He want this is okay. He does want to invest in her career though, still. So that's okay. So we're gonna go back to him wanting like to do things with her career and how it was a little bit weird and she got a little bit upset about that. I will say I do see him wanting to invest in her career in the future. Um, like I see like prodigy. Like he wants to use a lot of new technology and stuff through her and through her art and through her performances and things like that. He definitely wants to invest in her. Um, he thinks that she can make a shit ton of money and be super successful. Not that she isn't already, but yeah. Um, I do think that. Uh, we are going to see her do some really cool stuff though. Um, especially career wise, it looks like there's some really cool ideas that she has, um, that are going to be really innovative. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of success and money around her for her career. Um, something really cool and unique. I don't know what it is. It's going to be something new and different for, for them or her. I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, she's always kind of doing cool stuff, but, um, yeah, it does look like he's going to help with that. I think he really likes her creativity and I in her mind, and I think that's probably why he wanted to have more children with her. The lover's card's reversed, the fool's reversed, and the hierophant is reversed. So that's like a breakup, a, a divorce, a separation, whatever. And the fool's reversed, which is being serious and mature, and the lover's card's reversed. I don't think that they were ever in love with each other. Um, I think that they respected each other. Even though I see him as a little bit controlling, I do think that there was a part of him that respected her. And if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think he ever respected his ex's um, minds. I think he respected the way they acted. Um, but he respects Grimes' mind, her creative mind, her talent. He respects a lot. And I think that's probably going to be the issue between Grimes and some of the past ones is that um, he really, really respects her mind. I don't think he's done that before. Like, it was like, oh, this is good. This is how it should be. I like the way you act. But this is the first person where it's like, I like the way you think. I like the way you create. Um, Grimes is just very hippie-like to me. I don't know. Uh, she gives me, like, the, your girl, your typical girl that would be, like, on TikTok like in an RV traveling the world, like very that, like living off the land type of tease. Uh, she's giving that. Um, the Knight of Wands verse, the Two of Pentacles verse, and the Four of Swords. He wants her alone. I will say that. He does not want her moving on. I do think he'll eventually probably get his way. He can be very, very, very persistent. So... <laughs> Yeah, he's going to make moving on for her very difficult. He's he's going to try and chase her again at some point, for sure. Try to woo her. He's funny. You know, he reminds me of a guy I used to know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just always orbiting, and all of a sudden he'll get like a spontaneous feeling of like, I want her, I need her, and then fall off really quickly it's just ugh. anyways eight of swords page of cups reversed and death i don't know i just feel like she's not the type of person to be like i mean i'm not saying that she can't be in a monogamous like relationship i just think right now i don't see her as that type of person to play house like to me she seems too free-spirited and wanting to do a bunch of different things and it's giving very like you know, open vibes. I don't know if she's poly or not, but she's just giving very like, I just want to be carefree. I don't really want to have anything serious or intense. Like, it's not that serious. I just, do, I see her unbothered. Not that I don't see her like mad at certain points with him and frustrated with him because I do. I definitely do. But I see her as someone that like expresses that through her art and otherwise is very carefree. I do think she wants her art to be a little bit more angry and angsty than it has been. I'm seeing her kind of go a little bit more of like the angry, angry, angsty route in terms of like direction. The chariots up by the five of wands and some swords. Yeah, I just see her wanting to like piss people off, especially him. 
I think she kind of gets a, a rise. I think she likes getting a rise out of him and a rise out of people. And I think, I think we're going to start to see some bratty behavior, some brat behavior, some like rebellious behavior. I think she does things specifically to kind of trigger him. And and not saying that she's not bothered, but she's mostly unbothered. Like, yeah. Yeah, the Six of Wands is upright, which is ego and pride. So she just constantly wants to throw st- she kind of wants to throw some stuff in, her, in his face. She, she wants to look really hot and cool. And the Justice card is reversed and the Emperor's upright. She wants to knock him off his throne a little bit. So yeah, I do think we're going to see some spite work here. Um for her it's a game. Oh wait, didn't she have the song Player of Games? She, Miss Mama's loves to send a subliminal. Yes, I think I think that she She's going to have, she's going to, it's a game for her. She thinks it's fun. I really like this chick. Um, I will also say there's someone that he had some bad blood with that she's going to like flirt with or like do something with soon or reference in some of her art. I just, there's somebody he's had like bad blood with or like a falling out with because justice cards are worse, which means it could be someone that like sued him or he had some sort of legal issue with, or just someone that like pissed him off or something. But there is someone here that she's going to do something with to trigger the fuck out of him because she thinks it's funny. I think at this point, Grimes is going to slowly start to realize that he stuck with her for life and vice versa. So she might as well have fun with it. Um, And he ain't going nowhere because once he locks someone in, they're kind of locked for life. So the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords makes me think that she just wants him to say something stupid. It, it's really, it's, it reminds me of like, come on, tweet something stupid and I'll put it in the background of my video. Like, it's just, it's just something very much like that. <laughs> oh, she makes me laugh. Yeah, I mean, they never plan on having a traditional... Well, I shouldn't say they. She never planned on having the traditional family. I think he did. Um, and I don't think she really cared that he, he thought that that was going to happen. <laughs> this girl does not give a fuck. Like, she has intense emotions and then gets over it and doesn't give a fuck. Like... I can't. King of Wands reverse and Four of Pentacles reverse as well. There's someone here that who is the who is that? There's someone here that really wants her. There's someone that he knows. It's someone that he does business with, or someone that um, it's someone that he does business with, or or has some sort of rivalry with, or something. Who's very successful? Who wants her? He might have a wife already. I don't know. But all I know is it's someone that's very competitive with him who has a thing for her um, and had a thing for her from a very long time. I honestly think he was a little bit worried about cheating with that. Um, I don't think Grimes gives a fuck. Um, but that is has some sort of relevance to this. Because this is an age-old grudge and something where I'm stubborn and upset about. Someone who's like been over the house or something like that or been to the same event. Yeah, Grimes is the type of person who, if the only way she would cheat is to piss you off. She wouldn't, I don't think she would do it normally because I don't think she cares enough. Um, Miss Mama's going to get, I feel like she's going to get a Grammy soon or something because the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles is upright. I mean, that's a huge victory in your career. I saw that in the Harry Styles reading the other day too. So I think it's a big career reward coming here for her, something big. Let's hope she gets that motherfucking Grammy ho. Um, the Seven of Cups is reversed as well, which is realistic. So I actually see a huge renaissance and second coming of Grimes. So I'm excited for her. Um, I didn't really get too much about the kids. So I guess maybe I guess I'll do a part two eventually. But I'm not really seeing too much about the kids. To me, it just seems like it seems like she almost doesn't want to let go of the intense feeling she felt from the breakup because that's what's fueling her creativity. So even though she's kind of over it, she's going to channel it until she's done with her new projects. So that's probably the best I can do with their relationship. So hope you guys like that. If you did, make sure you tip. There's links to my people down below. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Until next time, bye guys.